Hello, this is uh, Ivan. Uh, my call sign is November Oscar to Charlie Whiskey. And today, uh, in front of me, I have a Cano TH 74 um, three band uh, amateur radio transceiver for VHF and UHF, and also a wide band receiver. Uh, and the uh, question uh, I'll be asking today is uh, how, what does uh, one of these wideband receivers and amateur radio transceivers uh, have to do with uh, AM radio reception? Well, number one, uh, these are built with features for amateur radio, so uh, you can transmit on three bands. This particular one is considered to be one of the top of the line radios today. Uh, it is expensive because it's packed with features. It, had, it has a D-Star, it has a PRS, it has a built-in uh, uh, GPS, so a, a, a big number of features that are of value to uh, the amateur radio operator. But let's see what it, ha it has to do with uh, medium wave. Number one, the radio can receive me the medium wave band. Uh, it is uh, part of the specs. Uh, with that said, I have in the past owned similar radios. Uh, 20, 20 years ago, I, I had an AOR 1000, and that one also had medium wave, and it could not receive anything. It could tune it. Uh, it would not receive anything. Well, this radio has a built-in uh, bar antenna, and that allows it to receive uh, uh, medium wave signals. So let's try it. I am tuned to 880. This is one of my local AM uh, stations. And um, I've set my settings to the internal bar antenna. And um, if you can see that, signal strength is good, signal is good, audio is good. This radio can receive local stations with its internal antenna, just like uh, most little portables. Um, that's a very helpful feature uh, if you take this radio with you um, while you travel or for any other reason, um, you should be able to tune in uh, to any local AM radio stations uh, without a problem. And um, no external antenna needed. Okay. I disconnect the antenna, and of course I still re I'm still receiving the signal because the signal uh, doesn't have anything to do with uh, that UHF, uh, VHF antenna that comes with the radio. All right, so we've established the fact the radio can receive medium waves uh, using its internal antenna. Uh, now the important question, well, how well does it receive medium wave signals? Is it just limited to my local uh, medium wave super strong stations? Or can I push it to um, receive a signal from uh, further out? Let's find out. Whenever I look at uh, these uh, portable and other radios, uh, one of the tests that I run is how well the radio can receive one of my semi-local stations here um, from probably about 100 miles away, but they run very low, uh, low power. I can receive it in the car, I can receive it with my uh, portable radio uh, at home, and uh, I'm trying this guy here, and uh, not much of a signal. Uh, I will even try to rotate. And um, again, um, no sign of them. Um, okay, so uh, with its internal antenna, the radio is uh, suitable for listening to strong local signals. Uh, it will not pick up anything from further out. Uh, it was never made for that purpose. So, um, are we ready to pronounce this radio that it's not suitable for distant medium wave reception? Uh, as they say on TV, wait, there's more. There's more to this story. Uh, this radio has an internal bar antenna. Uh, what that tells us is uh, internal bar antennas work very, very well with external loops. And external loop antenna is small, portable. Uh, if you were to take it on a trip with you, you can pack it easily. Uh, they are cheap, they're plentiful, so why not give that a try? This is a Radio Shack uh, antenna that I bought in the 90s uh, and uh, I still have it and it works well uh, and uh, it has the tiniest variable capacitor here. It performs very well. Uh, I uh, use it many times and uh, let's see if it's going to work well with, uh, with our test receiver here. Okay, this is my motor setup here. Uh, I have my uh, antenna and the radio next to it. 
and uh, let's see what happens when I tune that loop. That is pretty amazing. This is uh, signal strength 9 as measured by the radio. I don't know if we can vouch uh, whether it's in absolute terms or in relative terms, but this is perfectly uh, fine uh, quality to uh, enjoy and listen. So let's uh, do a couple of other tests. Okay, test number two. This is 810. Uh, 810 is the station from the Bahamas. Normally I can hear it. It's, it's not uh, local uh, type signal strength but it's pretty decent signal strength I can hear it on a car radio I can hear it on my home radio so it's uh, it's a semi local signal uh, so I'm tuned to 810 uh, and uh, I've placed my radio next to the loop and uh, let's try to tune Um, that's not too bad and I could probably make some more adjustments uh, to make it better I'm not even trying to rotate the signal uh, here and if I rotate in the right direction I'll probably get even better reception and of course one of the things I discovered is if I hold my uh, camera or my camcorder too close to the loop antenna uh, it does emit some uh, RF so I need to hold it a little further out and zoom in but A10 is coming in with pretty nice quality from uh, from the Bahamas uh, this is 1470. It's a local station, semi-local station, but uh, pretty weak. Let's see if uh, we can get a better signal out of it. Uh, right now it's not even uh, registering on the S, mo uh, S uh, signal monitor. And uh, just watch that signal pop up with a tuned loop antenna. So I think this demonstrates that uh, this radio is pretty capable as long as you feed it a little bit of a signal uh, and, and with, a little bit of a, uh, with a little bit of help. Once it grabs a signal, it can uh, um, amplify and the gain works very well. Uh, the challenge of course is that you have to uh, carry an extra loop antenna if you want to use it for medium wave. And then you can of course uh, ask the question, well, um, what exactly are we testing here, the radio or the loop antenna? And of course you'll be correct. But um, I thought it was very interesting uh, taking one of these radios, that we, which is a great radio, but not really purpose driven for, uh, for medium wave. Uh, Adding this tiny little adjustment here, these antennas sell frequently for $20 or less, uh, and um, making it a pretty nice, um, pretty, pretty nice, pretty capable receiver. Okay, so thank you for joining me today uh, for this quick review of this uh, great little capable radio, and I'll say simply uh, all the best. Uh, uh, this is NL2CW uh, signing off for today, and. Uh, Keep uh, um, keep checking for more uh, reviews and more experiments, uh, Sandri.